guys, it's Tibbetts Cam. My hair is everywhere and I still have like half an eyebrow on. However, we're going to do a fun little St. Patrick's look today. It's St. Patrick's Day. Lots of green. Green's my favorite shadow to play with, so I'm excited. I look awful. I'm like breaking out in hives on my cheek because I just played with cilantro, but you know what? That's okay. Everything's fine. So if you want to do some green makeup with me, then just watching. As always, we're going to start with my brows. I'm going to go in with my Pink Honey Wonder Whip Pomade. I'm going to pop that in my brows, fill them in, and then I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Pencil just to continue to fill in and define my brows a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with my Helene Double Base and I'm going to carve out the bottom and top of my brow. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill in my lid before taking a sponge and blending that all out. The first palette we're going in with is the Carnival XL Pro from Be Perfect and Stacey Marie, and I'm literally only using it for the black shade lights out. Um, but I'm going to take this and I'm going to make little like half circle C shape thingies on the inner and outer corner of my eye. I tried to make them as symmetrical as possible, but it just it, it didn't happen. Um, but I'm just going to take that shade and kind of blend and, and pack it on to make it look super opaque. The next palette I'm going to go into is the Lorac Pro Artistry Book Chapter 2 and I'm going to take the shade Bank Account and I'm going to take that on a fluffy little pointed brush and I'm just going to blend that on top of the black to smoke it out on both the outer and inner little half circle-y things. It's okay if it looks messy, this is literally like a trust the process look and even at the end I was like, mm, should I have trusted the process? I don't know. But it turned out well so everything's fine. Then I'm going to go right next door to the shade Acid and I'm just going to pop that all over the place. So we're just going to use that to blend out that darker green, but I'm going to pop that on the top, the middle, and the bottom. So we're literally just going to put this everywhere. Then I'm going to go back in with that dark green and kind of re-blend, blend everything out, re-intensify, and then back in with that black shade to once again re-intensify and re-blend. Now we're going to do a little bit of cleanup. So I'm going to go in with a little Q-tip soaked in micellar water, and I'm going to go ahead and just clean up the inner part of those little semicircle things. They're not even semicircles. I don't even know what they are. I don't know. I, they look like amoebas. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to clean up the center and then I'm going to go in with that double base once again and I'm just going to pop that right where we took away all of that excess shadow just to clean it up a little bit. Now I'm going to go into the Absinthe palette from BH Cosmetics. This was from their Halloween launch this year or last year, I guess. And I'm going to go into the shade Elixir and I'm just going to pop that right on top of where we laid down that Helen E base from where we cut out all of that excess shadow. Now I'm going to go in with the white buttermilk liner from Sheen Cosmetics and I don't really know what I was doing but I kind of wanted to add a little something something because it was looking a little boring so I added these little like white definer lines in the little amoeba things. I don't know. I'm going to go back in with the shade Lights Out and just run that on my lower lash line to start off and then I'm going to go in with Bank Account and blend that out a little bit and then once I go in with that we're going to go in with Acid to finish off the lower lash line and just kind of smoke out the look. Now I'm going in with some gems. I hate using gems. I think they're a pain in the ass but Make Me Up Missa has been doing gems in all of her looks so I was like you know what I'm going to do that too. So I'm just going to pop some gems on the top part of this little look right above those little amoeba thingies. I pop those on in just kind of a random doesn't make sense pattern. I don't really know. And I'm going to do it on the outer and inner corner. And yeah. Then I'm going to go in with some mascara. This is the NARS Climax Mascara, my very favorite mascara right now. And then after that, I'm going to pop on some false lashes and we're done. That is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. I love playing with this shape. I've seen it all around Instagram and I think it's really fun to play off of. And it's an interesting one to kind of get down, but once you kind of get the hang of it, it's fun. Not that I have the hang of it, but I don't know. This is the second time I've ever tried this shape, and I really just i am into it. I think it's fun. So there you go. Happy St. Patrick's Day. If you're under 5'5", five five, you are legally a leprechaun, and today is your day. So congratulations. Happy Leprechaun Day. To all my short friends, right there with you. I'm five two, so here we are. This is the day. This is the day for us. This is this is the day for us. So congratulations. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.